Hey guys, welcome to Alice Every Day, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a modern floating shelf. Hey guys, so to get this build started, it is a very simple build, yet very satisfactory once you see it up on the wall, and it just looks absolutely awesome. Um, all you're going to need is the pieces that you are going to use for the shelf. Now, this shelf is actually composed of just two. Uh, I made them personally from two six-inch pieces, six wide. And these actually knew the spot where I was going to put them. So I measured out that it was actually five feet that I needed, and these boards are six foot. So I just ripped down one foot from each board to end up with two five-foot pieces. Now you do want to make sure that you grab the straightest boards that you have, make sure they don't have a cusp or a twist, uh, because these are going to be shelves and they're going to be going against a flat surface as well, so you want to make them as straight as you can. Now the shelf is very simple to make, it all depends what you're going to place on it if you know they're very heavy then you know you need to put some support on it if it's not very heavy then you can just go with whatever design you like now what i did was i'm just gonna lay one right on top of the other board and that's gonna be pretty much it now i am gonna put some what of some weight on it so i did decide to add some screws because the the glue i just wasn't gonna let it hold everything Now, all I did was place some glue, so the boards one two against each other, clamp them down, make sure they're straight, and they're good to go. Now, for the screws, I decided I'm gonna make them from the bottom side, so you won't be able to see them as much, and I'm gonna paint over them at the end. All I did was drill down some pilot holes, countersink, and put on your screws. And that is pretty much it, guys. Now, it all depends how fancy you want to get. With my design, I wanted a modern touch to it, so I added some sidebars, or you can call them sidebars, you can call them ends. Um, and they're gonna be actually going to be cut at 45s for the ends, the two ends, and then I'm just going to cut them of whatever fits my shelf. And these are actually going to be just decorations. Now, if you are going to put very, very heavy stuff, I do recommend to make these uh, not just ends, but in the middle as support. Drill some screws through it, the supports, and for it to hold some weight, at least so it's, so it's just not the bottom plate that is holding everything. Now, if you can, do not just leave this as glue. I do recommend putting a couple of screws and that way you won't be thinking all the time, what if this is going to break? I did also use some uh, brand nails just to hold it in place. I'm not relying on them at all. It's just to hold it in place while the glue dries and I put my screws through. A quick tip, I do recommend you to use a square surface um, so you can actually lay it hanging how you can see that I'm doing this uh, because it's just gonna help everything straight, stay straight and it's gonna help it not curve while you're putting all your screws and everything in. Now once you've gotten your screws through and you've already glued up everything, you can just let it dry. Put some pressure on it and let it dry. Make sure that it holds whatever you are thinking of putting on there and give it some time. Let it rest because you do need to let it get firm because the glue will actually help somewhat with the weight. Now, as I mentioned before here, are the ends that I am going to make for my specific piece and they're just 245s cut a little piece out and then just glue that into the end caps Uh, 
a quick tip and you're gonna see me do this right now is that anything that you cut um, you do want to sand down any of the sides make sure it's nice and smooth hey if you have a router go ahead and put it to good use and put some round overs whatever you like they look very nice or if you're just going more for a rustic style you can leave them flat Now for the paint, the first process that you will see me do is actually apply a primer. I recommend this 100% because especially this wood is not actually perfect and I was able to cover up some detail that I did not want it to show through. Even though I was going to paint it black, I knew that it would still show some of it out. But make sure you lay a nice coat of primer. Make sure you let that dry for a very long time. This project is very easy but actually took over two days because of the drying times. I laid my first coat of primer, let it dry, and then actually went over and checked any spots. I sanded down anything that I needed and then make sure there was still primer everywhere and then let that dry and then go ahead and do your paint. Now I did do two coats of paint on this, focusing mainly on the front part. The back part, I just did one coat because I know it's just gonna face the wall and I couldn't care too much about it. But the front looks absolutely perfect and uh, as I mentioned before, I applied two coats to make sure that it was dead spot on what I was looking for. Now make sure that if you are going to drill this or place this somewhere, make sure you're using the right support for it. If you're using hooks or whatever you're using to attach it to whatever you're going to attach it to, make sure you have the right support for it. In my case, I measured out where my studs are. I'm driving straight through the wall, right into the studs because this will hold some weight. And I'm actually going to put four screws in each one of the shelves just to make sure that nothing's going to happen to these shelves. And here's what they look like. There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. It's very simple and easy to make. I'm about to go get this one up on the wall and it just turned out very nice. It's so beautiful, it's very elegant. It's got its details on the sides and it, it just makes it just awesome. Um, it's very simple to build. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how it turned out. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next build.